you know, I'm doing this short YouTube video, what I would say on the 11th hour. I was busy just in the garage preparing some cardboard for the recycling and I got a strong premonition in my heart to find the little Christmas tree by the crib in the garden, in the monastery garden, and do a talk, a short talk, on the meaning of the Christmas tree and 2012. And I thought, well, what can I talk about? And then I got a strong feeling in my heart to look at the 12 keys of some, the 12 keys of living and embracing the interior life. So what are these keys to the little way of living in abundance as a child of God? But first let me show you this little Christmas tree. It's insignificant looking. It's not what you would call a tree that you would find in the Macy's store in New York, all glittery with bulbs and flashing lights. And this little tree was given to me by Viking, which is um, a stationer's here in the UK some six years ago. And it came with little gold boxes and trinkets and little red bulbs. But when you look at it, it's just a normal looking sad, don't you think, despondent Christmas tree. But I would like us to do something with this tree. I would like it to become a living tree. What do I mean by a living tree? Well, let's pretend that we are this humble object we call a Christmas tree, a miniature Christmas tree. And on this Christmas tree, we're going to do something truly amazing. The first thing we're going to look at the 12 special dressings, the keys to Franciscan spirituality, embracing the Celtic monastic way of life, but the little way that encompasses all beliefs. Because all the great spiritual teachers, Mia Baba, Osho, Sri Chimoy, Gandhi, even Jesus the Barefoot Galilean, even the Lord Buddha, they talk about words that have some meaning. And I would like us to dress this little tree with gifts that represent you and me. And not something that we can rush into a department store and buy. Because it's instant. Because there's no effort. And what I would like us to do Excuse me a sec. I would like us to put seven sp specific dressings on this tree. And the first is integrity. Integrity. What does that mean? Integrity coming from a place of wholeness. Where you are committed to honouring who you are. And then we look at simplicity. I will let you choose the colour for simplicity. It could be a bulbul, it could be a star, it could be an angel or tinsel. Without that childlike simplicity, then everything is going to appear nonsensical. And today, so many people become childish and not childlike. The third dressing is a word that doesn't resonate for many of us, humility. What does it mean to be humble? Well, it means knowing who we are in the eyes of God and not always putting the me first, but putting we first. And then gratitude. Why gratitude? Well, as you know, in this wonderful world, this beautiful world that God made, many people today are takers. They take and take, and they give very little in return. 
and the word thank you seems to be missing from their vocabulary. Why is that? You know, when you go into a shop and you see an elderly lady struggling with her shopping, isn't it nice to be able to open the door? And the older generation have not forgotten the word thank you, but one day I held the door open in our local supermarket for a young teenager with a child. Yes, a one-parent family. And clearly she was in a hurry. But I opened the door for her to get the little carriage through with the little child in it. And all I got was a rebuke. <laughs> so where has thank you gone? So for me, gratitude, thank you, integrity, simplicity and humility are important dressings for my tree. And then this generosity, being generous with your time, sharing the gifts that God has given you. I know when I set up Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace, which is a social website, a gathering of like-minded souls, that we could share our pictures, our photographs, our poems, and nurture and encourage one another. And I think we've got about 75, maybe 80 members but out of the 80 members, only a dozen bother to be generous with their time and nurture one another. Why is that? Sincerity, being sincere. Not being afraid to be yourself. And then, of course, we've got selflessness. And selflessness means putting others first. And not ignoring yourself, but reminding yourself that selflessness is a gift and it's worthy on this tree. Joy. What happened to joy? The spirit of joy is Christmas. A Christmas tree without joy is a sad Christmas tree, don't you think? And then laughter. You know, the great trees of Avila said, spare me from those nuns and monks who have miserable faces. To be in service to a loving God is about joy and laughter and not being afraid, not being afraid to allow that inner child come out and play and share love and laughter. And then, of course, compassion. Compassion. The other night when Brother Tom shared with us about 70,000 people being homeless on the West Coast in the city of Angels, Los Angeles. I felt so despondent. 70,000 people in one city, the city of Angels, are homeless. So I began to talk to God and say, inspire those who are part of religion to reach out and to be a compassionate, to show your love in action, to feed them, to clothe them, and to give them a meaning and a purpose. That's the Christmas tree. And a Christmas tree is a compassionate tree. And where's forgiveness? Forgiveness is so important, isn't it? Because if we say we forgive someone but won't forget, we're not forgiven. So a Christmas tree that has forgiveness on it is a tree of life, the tree of life. And finally, the disciplines. Disciplines? A Christmas tree without disciplines is no tree. The disciplines of prayer, silence, meditation, exercise, taking care of your mind, your body and your spirit. And then, when all those keys are placed, we can then place on this lovely little tree the beautiful lights, battery operated, but when we put them around the tree, what do we have? We have a tree that has light. We have a tree that has beauty. And okay, it's not a glamorous tree, but it's a tree of beauty, don't you think? And the light that's shining is representative of those 12 keys 
of life. Integrity, simplicity, humility, gratitude, generosity, sincerity, selflessness, joy, laughter, compassion, forgiveness, and the disciplines of prayer, silence, meditation and exercise. Have a beautiful Christmas. Namaste.